Welcome to Architecting with Google Cloud. I'm Max Saltonstall, and lately I've been thinking security is a constant challenge in the cloud and never fully solved. Most companies work with a variety of vendors and platforms and solutions to keep their people as safe as possible. Today, I'm pleased to welcome Mason from Palo Alto Networks to talk a little bit about how their solutions work well with Google's security products. Hi, Mason, welcome. Can you tell me a little bit about who you are, what your role is, and what you're doing right now? Thank you, Max. My name is Mason Yan. I'm with Palo Alto Networks for about three years. I lead the Google Cloud Alliance technical team. My team has been building better together solution with Google Cloud. We help customers use Palo Alto Networks and the Google Cloud together. That's awesome. And Palo Alto Networks and Google both have a lot of different security products. So Palo Alto Networks can help in many ways and can integrate with Google, right? Yeah, that's correct. Um, so, uh, you know, we promote a cybersecurity platform approach. We cover across the cloud security, network security, SASE, access, you know, secure access service edge, which is allow all users access from anywhere security. We also cover endpoint security and security operations. The benefit of the platform approach is to allow customer use consistent security policies, eliminate gaps. Of course, you know, the scale issue has been, you know, challenging in the security industry. You can never uh, hire enough security professionals, right? We try to do automation as much as possible. We try to help customer solve 95% of their alerts automatically. Then the customer can really focus on the 5%. That's awesome, because it sounds like it's gonna save me time and energy and give me better security. And if I recall, this partnership between Google and Palo Alto Networks has been pretty darn successful, right? Yeah, that's correct. We are very proud that Palo Alto Networks uh, was awarded as the technology partner of the year for the past three consecutive years out of thousands of Google Cloud technology partners. It sounds great, and we all love it when everything works perfectly, but what happens when something actually goes wrong, and how are you able to help me with some of these solutions? Yeah, as you know, no matter how good your security solution is, the breaches happen. When it happens, you want to minimize the damage, right? So you risk against the time. That's the life at security operations, you know, the tools like Cortex-XDR stop the breaches because uh, it does, you know, it's not only have the visibility to your endpoint, but also to your firewall in the network and then your cloud asset and security events in your cloud. So getting that visibility helps me respond and helps me minimize the blast radius. Can this help me against both small hobbyist attackers and big professional hackers? Yeah, that's the goal, right? So you must heard of APT, Advanced Persistent Threat Group, the most sophisticated cyber criminals, right? So they are equipped with advanced attack software techniques and create, you know, they're creating a tremendous challenge to security professionals. So how would we know our cybersecurity solutions is robust enough to protect us from APT's attack? So industry uses meteor attack evaluations. You know, the evaluation, um, you know, is really test the user, test the solutions, like, you know, if the solution could detect and protect from APT attacks. So the evaluation emulate the real world attack sequences APT uses, right? And Cortex XDR was ranked the highest protection and the visibility combined score out of 29 solutions last year. Cortex XDR blocked 100% of the attack in the protection phase against the both Linux and Windows endpoint. Wow, that's fantastic. So let's say I'm at a company and we want to operate in a zero trust way, but I also need to understand what's the current state of all these different computers that my people have, especially when many of them are bringing their own devices, they're working from home, and I can't necessarily reach out and touch and check and update those. So can you help me with that? Yeah, so, you know, for the Zero Trust, Google has been building a very effective access control uh, to the cloud resources and the SaaS applications, right? So, which is part of the Bianco architecture. 
context-aware access level provide a cloud-native way to control the access. I think one of the biggest challenge, as you mentioned, is to understand the security postures of your endpoints, right? And you don't want a compromised endpoint to access your cloud resources and SaaS applications. Cortex XDR deploy the security agents to the endpoints. The agent stop malware, exploit, and ransomware. Cortex XDR creates alerts, incidents from malicious activities at endpoint. Think about if we can just add this endpoint security posture as part of the Google Beyond Course context policy, you know, context aware policy, right? So I think we can prevent a compromised computer from accessing cloud resources and SaaS applications. That sounds great. So by putting some software on my employees' machines, you're both helping me stop those attacks on the one hand and detecting malicious activity to flag a machine as compromised. So what's all the magic behind the scenes that's giving you the information to calculate a health level for each device? Yeah, so the Cortex SDR, uh, they include a broad, uh, you know, the set of the exploit uh, protection module, right? So it could protect you from, you know, the malware infection, you know, exploits. Um, and, and also uh, the Cortex SDR could actually protect you from a malicious file download, right? So, you know, uh, we pretty much have a two phases. Uh, the first, we would just examine the file uh, locally and use the machine learning uh, building and to figure out if this file is first seen, if there's a known file, and if the local analysis is not able to figure out, we have a uh, industry well-known uh, security service, sandbox service called Wildfire, right? The file would get uploaded to the Wildfire, Wildfire should be able to figure out. If we detect some new zero-day, you know, malware, and we would notify the entire Palado's install base, right? So everybody got a benefit from this analysis. That's great. And that sounds like it's going to keep lots of my computers much, much safer. So this output also plugs into Google's security system so that I can make good decisions about how healthy or how safe one individual client device is, right? And then that lets me decide whether to let it in or not? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, for that purpose, we joined Google Beyond Core Alliance program, we develop a, a solution called Cortex XDR endpoint verification. So the first release, uh, we pretty much measure three things, right? So number one, we want to make sure the endpoint is protected by Cortex XDR agent. And number two, the endpoint should not be isolated by your security admin, right? So that means the endpoint is compromised, right? So number three, we want to make sure there is a uh, you know, house score, um, you know, the house score is meet your threshold you set up. So, you know, the we calculate the threshold in the first release by alerts, number of alerts, you know, if the alerts is severe enough. And the next release, we're going to also include the instance information. And those alerts and future incidents, those are based on fishy activity, basically, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so this is going to make me a lot more secure. How is it going to help me prevent some compromise or intrusion? Yeah, so our, uh, you know, solution, we automatically update Google's endpoint management with the endpoint security posture from Cortex XDR. You know, once we have that done, uh, you know, you can create a context aware access policy, right? Um, you know, then you can use the Google, for example, IAP, VPC service control to control the access to the cloud resources. And also the same access level, you can apply, you know, the access policy to your SaaS application, you know, including the workspace and third party applications. So get this agent on all my devices, set up some kind of endpoint data store, hook it all up to Google's zero trust posture. This sounds like a lot of work. Do I have to do all of that manually by myself? You know, we try to make this deployment as easy as possible, right? So, you know, I think uh, what you would need to do uh, is just deploy the cloud function we build and, you know, to your cloud environment and the cloud function would just uh, reach out to Cortex XDR, um, you know, the API and the Cortex XDR would reach out to the endpoint, get endpoint security posture information, uh, you know, 
the solution we built would automatically update uh, the Google uh, endpoint management. And from there, you know, the access level you config would take the magic and provide that compromised endpoint access to cloud resources and also uh, the SaaS application. Great. So in the unlikely but inevitable event that something bad does happen, how is this going to also help me minimize the damage, restrict the blast radius? Yeah, so if anything has happened, right? So the first step, the Cortex DR agent uh, would prevent, you know, the malware, you know, ransomware exploit uh, to damage your endpoint. But at the same time, the Cortex DR agent would create alert, create an incident, and those security posture information uh, would get transferred into Google endpoint management. And the Google's context aware access level will prevent a compromised endpoint from accessing Google resource and also the SaaS application. Awesome. So let's say I want to try this out and move forward. What should I do first? So Cortex SDR endpoint verification is in private preview at this point. Contact us at Google at PalatoNetworks.com. We will get you started. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Mason, for joining and for telling us about some of these really cool, innovative security solutions. Thank you, Max. My pleasure to talk to you. Really appreciate you. Uh, promote the Cortex XDR endpoint verification uh, for Beyond Core. Thank you. If you liked what you saw today and you want to see more like it, you can check out the full playlist below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to get more content from Architecting with Google Cloud.